Hello, my name is Nathan Hallam. I'm the fuel specialist for Rocky Mountain National Park, and I'll be your burn boss for the headquarters prescribed fire. Today, I'm standing here at the Beaver Meadows Visitor Center, and next to me is the map of the unit that we're looking to be doing, doing our prescribed fire. To kind of walk you through where we're at for this unit, I'm currently standing here at the park headquarters or within it. We'll be burning south of Highway 36, so all this down below Highway 36 is within our burn unit, all the way out to the Bear Lake Road. We will not be burning west of Bear Lake Road, but we will only be burning east of Bear Lake. From there, we'll be bringing fire down to the Beaver Brook Creek and keeping fire north of Beaver Brook Creek all the way back to park headquarters. Uh, the total area that we're looking to do our prescribed burn in the coming days is 100 acres. And this area is also, we've been working diligently the last couple of weeks with Alpine Hotshots and Module 3-2 to get preparation work done on the ground for those holding features. The hand crew or the hotshots and the module have been working on putting control lines along Beaver Brook, putting mow lines within the unit as well to make sure that we have control features. As we bring fire across the landscape, we'll have areas that we can contain it if we do get an unexpected uh, wind event through the National Weather Service. The other planning piece that's gone into this prescribed fire is multiple years worth of research with scientists, ecologists, and local fire managers. And the multitude of justifications or reasonings for this prescribed fire is one, this is a fire adapted ecosystem. A lot of the vegetation that is native to our area benefits from prescribed fire. So by being able to burn these areas through here, you're gonna see vigor in a lot of the growth in our grasses and brush and forbs next year uh, from the or nutrients that's released from the prescribed fire. We'll also be able to reduce the understory of vegetation that's been built up over the time underneath our ponderosa pine. So the benefits not only for the vegetation, but the browse for our wildlife is gonna be substantial. The other benefits for the prescribed fire is to reduce the potential for catastrophic wildfire. So burning in the conditions that we're looking at will have low to moderate fire behavior within the area that we're burning. So that'll keep the fire on the surface level of flames. Nothing will be reaching up into the timber itself. The other planning piece that we're looking at is what is our forecast? What is our fuels condition or vegetation conditions when it looks at the moisture? Right now, we just came off of a drying trend, but yesterday we received the snow and rain all day yesterday and into last night, which tempered our fire severity in the area and brings us into good conditions that we can keep fire low to moderate within the area that we're looking to do a prescribed fire. The other planning piece is I've been coordinating closely with the National Weather Service because we all know in this area, there is unexpected Chinook winds that could come in the area. So I'll be talking to them every couple hours throughout the prescribed fire, just to stay updated on what our current weather conditions are. The other thing we're coordinating closely with is for our smoke and ventilation. The smoke and ventilation is key to make sure that we do not have inversions of smoke that lead down into Estes Park or other communities within the area. Right now we're looking at good to excellent ventilation, which is gonna allow for lift of that smoke and very minimal impacts to the community around here from the smoke that we're producing. Uh, the other outcome that we're looking at for this is just fire adapted ecosystem. This is only 100 acres and we're looking to do more in the future, but through this we have now created a buffer for potential you know, catastrophic wildfires, which we have seen in this area in the past. We have reduced the fuels within this and for fire operators, if we were to have a wildfire in the area, they're gonna look at this prescribed fire as a potential holding feature because the fire itself from a catastrophic wildfire will be lessened the intensity when it reaches this area that we've done the prescribed burn. I will continue to reach out to you and give you updates in the coming days as we do this prescribed fire and keep you all filled in on how the progress is going. With that, that concludes my briefing for today. We'll talk to you later.